this is B Naresh working as assistant professor in AC department. And today's topic is problems on uh, CD and uh, CG FET amplifier analysis, where uh, CD means common drain as well as CG means common gate. So that is the reason. In this session, we are going to discuss some of the problems on common drain as well as uh, common gate FET amplifier analysis. So by using these problems, we are going to determine the, the voltage gain as well as the input impedance and the output impedance of the common drain as well as the common gate FET amplifier analysis. So first see the problem in the given CD amplifier, let the RS value means the source resistance is 4 kilo ohms and the gate resistance is 10 mega ohms and the where mu is 50 means amplification factor is a 50 and internal drain resistance or a AC resistance that is RD that is 35 kilo ohms then evaluate the voltage gain input impedance and uh, output impedance so here the given circuit is acts as a common drain amplifier or it is also called as like CD amplifier and, and it is also called as common source uh, follower. Why? Because of that. In a CD amplifier, so drain is uh, common. Let us say, suppose if it is a uh, J fed and let us say this is the drain and the source gate. We have, we know that in a fed we have three terminals gate, drain, and the source. When drain is common for input side and output side, then remaining two terminals means gate and the source. Out of these two terminals, gate is acts as the input side and the source is acts as the output. I mean, drain is a common terminal for input as well as the output. And uh, based on the general concept of the field effect transistor, as this as for construction of the field effect transistor, we know that the source is always emits the charge carriers to allow the conduction in a fed or in a like where the in the transistor the meter is always gives a charge carriers to allow the conduction in a transistor. So that is the reason. How many charge carriers are emitted for conduction and those number of charge carriers we are going to measure across the source terminal that we consider as a output side. That is the reason for this common drain amplifier. It is also called means the output is measured across the source means the source itself acts as a emitted terminal or injected charge carriers from the source. So hence, it is also called as a source follower circuit. And let us assume that in this, the given circuit, and we are passing through the input to the gate terminal. And this gate is biased with a resistance that is represented as RG. Let us consider here, the given specifications are, the RG value is 10 mega ohms. Then across the source times means we converted a generalized effect amplifier that is this common source amplifier is converted to in terms of common drain amplifier. So for that conversion across this resistance it should be represented as 1 by 1 plus mu times of RT. Where this is the internal drain resistance it is also called as AC resistance. And for this case, this internal drain resistance is represented as 35 kilo ohms. And across this uh, voltage gain, the voltage gain across this sub terminal, it is represented as mu by 1 plus mu times of Vg. It means the voltage between gate and uh, drain or the potential difference between gate and drain. And this is the source terminal. So means the so across the source, it is a bias with a resistance that is represented as RS. And here the biasing resistance across the source 
is represented as 4 kilo ohms. And now we know that if a uh, common drain amplifier, let us consider and we consider this is source RS and it should be connected to ground and let us take this is a gate for a gate and with respect to this gate and the source and we are applying the input voltage let us and drain is a bias with a VDD and output is measured across the source terminal hence this type of the configuration is belongs to a common drain amplifier or it is also called as a source follower circuit so that is the reason across this uh, resistance now we are going to find out the output voltage so hence by using the circuit we are going to observe voltage gain means gain av and how much input impedance is offered and uh, how much output impedance is offered by using this common drain amplifier circuit so that is the reason we need to identify these three parameters from the given specifications of the common drain fed amplifier analysis so let us consider the given specifications are so we know that the given specifications are the source resistance is 4 kilo ohms and the gate resistance is 10 mega ohms amplification factor is 50 and the internal drain resistance is 35 kilo ohms so let us now we are going to determine the voltage gain and input impedance as well as output impedance so first we are going to observe to determine the voltage gain generally we know that it is a ratio of output voltage to the input voltage from the circuit if you find out this output voltage means the voltage is a measure across this rs network so that is the reason from the given circuit it is represented as mu times of rs by 1 plus mu times of rs into rs plus smaller where mu is a 50 and we know that rs is a 4 kilo ohms and the small rd is 35 kilo ohms then you can substitute these values to identify the voltage gain hence this is mu is equal to 50 into 4 kilo ohms 4 into 10 power 3 divided by 50 plus 1 into 4 into 10 power 3 plus small rd where small rd is 35 kilo ohms means 35 into 10 power 3 means this is 200 into 10 power 3 by 51 into 4 into 10 power 3 plus 35 into 10 power 3 now so means this is 200 into 10 power 3 pi so this is uh, 204 plus 35 into 10 power 3 so this 10 power 3 10 power 3 is a get cancelled 200 by this is 239 then it gives that the voltage gain is equal to 0 0.36 so hence the voltage gain is 0 0.36 so based on this one we observe that for a given specifications the voltage gain of the common drain amplifier is 0 0.36 now we are going to calculate how much input impedance is offered by this network and uh, how much output impedance is offered by this given common drain uh, amplifier so now i'm going to calculate the input impedance so if you observe the given circuit so let us take now here we are going to observe is zi so means zi is directly proportional to the given input bias resistance across the gate terminal so that is the reason directly from this circuit we can say that zi is directly proportional to Archie.
So from this given specifications, now I'm going to identify this input impedance. So that is the reason Zi is directly proportional to your RG. So from this, we can say that Zi or RG is equal to 10 mega ohms. Now we are going to calculate. So we absorb AV. The AV value is a 0.36 and Zi is 10 mega ohms. Now we are going to calculate the output impedance of this given circuit. To identify this uh, output impedance, so again okay, in output side it is biased with the RC and we have two voltage networks here. So hence at this point we are going to calculate a Z0 and the Z0 is represented as 1 by GM is parallel combination means with the uh, RS and here and there is no GM value in a given this relation there is no GM value first we need to find out this uh, GM or otherwise we know that this mu what is the, the relation between the characteristic parameters of the Fed from that the mu is represented as gm into small rt. So now from this we can write this gm is equal to mu by small rd where mu is the amplification factor and uh, small rd is the internal drain resistance. Hence it should be replaced with this z0 is gm is replaced with mu by rt is parallel with rs. Hence that is RT by mu is parallel combination with uh, RS. So that is the reason. Now you can substitute this RD value. So means 35 into 10 power 3 by this is 50. This factor is the parallel combination with the RS value that is 4 into 10 power 3. So means so this is 35 into 10 power 3 by 50 into 4 into 10 power 3 by so 35 into 10 power 3 by 50 plus 4 into 10 power 3. So after this simplification, the Z naught is approximately equal to 595.7 ohms. So hence. So from this given specifications, we identified as AB is equal to 0 0.36, ZI is equal to 10 mega ohms, and the Z0 is equal to 595.7 ohms. These are three parameters are identified based on the given specifications. Now we'll see another problem. In the common drain amplifier, let RS is the 10 kilo ohms. RG is a 10 mega ohms, mu is a 70, and uh, RD is a 35 kilo ohms. Then evaluate the voltage gain AB, input impedance ZI, and uh, output impedance Z0. So, again, let us consider for the given specifications. So, they given that the source resistance RS is a 10 kilo ohms, means let us take and this is a network let us take this is drain and a source across the source the resistance is 10 kilo ohms and the gate is biased with uh, a 10 mega ohms and here the gate is biased with the reverse voltage we know that one that is input voltage and drain is biased with the vdd Output is taken from the source terminal, hence it is called as a common drain amplifier. And internal, the amplification factor is 75, and internal drain resistance that is 35 kilo ohms. Based on this, we need to determine the voltage gain and input impedance as well as the output impedance. So based on this, again, we know that the voltage gain is defined as it is a ratio of output voltage to the input voltage. 
So for this, we can also write this voltage gain in terms of GM. In the previous case, we observed in terms of amplification factor. Here we are going to observe in terms of uh, this transconductance. So that is GM into RS pi, 1 plus GM into RS. But before this, and first we need to identify so here the unknown parameter is gm the unknown parameter is transconductance that is zm first we need to identify this transconductance from the known parameters and uh, we know that from the characteristics parameter the amplification factor is equal to transconductance is multiplied with the internal drain rate Me means mu is equal to gm into rt so from this we need to calculate the gm so why because of that where in this amplification factor is a known factor rd is a known factor hence the unknown factor we need to calculate z so to absorb from this we know that the gm is equal to mu by rd hence what is the mu value here mu value is a 75 RD value means internal drain resistance that is small RD that is 35 kilo ohms means 35 into 10 to the power of 3 ohms. After simplification, this ratio the GM is equal to 0 0.00214 mos or ohm inverse. So, hence this is 0 0.00214 ohm inverse transconductance. Now, this value we need to substitute in this ratio to absorb the voltage gain of the common drain uh, FET amplifier. Hence, now I am going to substitute the GM value. So, here the known parameter is GM is equal to what is the value we absorb GM? GM is 0 0.00214. 0 0.00214 so hence now i am going to substitute 0 0.00214 into rs is a 10 kilo ohms 10 into 10 power 3 divided by 1 plus this is 0 0.00214 into rs value is 10 kilo ohms so after the simplification, so means uh, this is uh, if you convert to this one, so 2.14 into 10 to the power of minus 3 into 10 into 10 power 3 by 1 plus 2.14 into 10 power minus 3 into 10 into 10 to the power of 3. This 10 power 3, 10 power minus 3 is the get cancelled. Hence, this is 2.14 into 10 means 21.4 divided by 1 plus this is 21.4 means 21.4 divided by 22.4. So then to simplify this ratio, it gives uh, the amplification factor is 0.95. So, hence, based on this given uh, specifications, we identified that the voltage gain is 0 0.95. Now, we need to calculate the input impedance as well as the output impedance. So, to determine this uh, input impedance, and we know that from the circuit, so means from this input impedance when you are drawing the circuit let's take this is the drain and the input side is the gate source source is biased with the rs and the drain is so gate is a bias with uh, the resistance is rg and we are applying the input voltage and the gate is biased with the vdd output is taken from vnrs so with respect to this source terminal and here now we are going to observe the input impedance so from this circuit the zi is proportional to 
the gate resistance RG. That is the reason. So here the ZI value R, the RG value is equal to 10 mega ohms. So that is the reason. The value of uh, input impedance that is equal to 10 mega ohms. Now similar to that, now we observe that uh, ZI that is 10 mega ohms. Now we need to calculate uh, Z0 output impedance and we know that the Z0 is the parallel combination of 1 by Cm times Rs, parallel combination with the Rs. So already we observe this Gm value, the Gm value is 0 0.00214 otherwise that is equal to 2.14 into 10 to the power of minus 3 ohm inverse. Now to identify this uh, output impedance, now Z0 is equal to 1 by, this is 2.14 into 10 to the power of minus 3 is parallel combination with uh, RS value that is 10 into 10 to the power of 3. So means this is 1 by 2.14 into 10 to the power of minus 3 into 10 into 10 to the power 3 divided by 1 by 2.14 into 10 to the power of minus 3 plus 10 into 10 to the power of 3. So after this simplification, then the Z0 value is represented as 446.16. So hence the Z0 is 446.16 ohms. So based on the given specifications, we identified as the voltage gain is how much voltage gain we observe. AB is so 0 0.95. So AB is a 0 0.95 and ZA is we observed as 10 mega ohms and uh, Z0 is 446.16 ohms. So these are the three parameters are observed from the given specifications. Now let's see one more problem. In the common gate or CG amplifier, let the drain resistance means external load resistance or a drain resistance is 2 kilo ohms and uh, source resistance is 1 kilo ohm. ZM is trans conductance that is 1.43 into 10 to the power of minus 3 moves or ohm inverse and uh, internal drain resistance is 35 kilo ohms. Evaluate the voltage gain, input impedance and the uh, output impedance Z0. So for this case means so the given circuit is common gate amplifier means gate is a common for input side as well as the output side. So remaining two terminals source and the drain. So out of these two terminals, the source is acts as a input terminal and the drain is acts as a output terminal. And so let us consider a JFET amplifier and this is drain and the source gate. So gate is directly connected to ground and across the source we are biasing the resistance that is RS and for this we are applying the input so that is VI means input signal is passing through the source terminal and output is measured across the drain hence a load resistance a place across the drain terminal that is represented as RT, it is biased with the VDD, hence the output is measured across the drain terminal that is V0. So, for this given circuit, so here this is acts as a, a common gate uh, amplifier, CG amplifier. So, for this circuit, and let us consider this the given specifications are. The source resistance is 1 kilo ohm and the load resistance or external drain resistance is 2 kilo ohms and internal parameters that is transconductance 
gm is 1.43 into 10 to the power of minus 3 moles or ohm in moles and your amplification factor what are the amplification factor is not given then but internal drain resistance that is 35 kilo ohms so based on this we need to calculate the voltage gain input impedance as well as the output impedance so for this case now first i note down this uh, given specifications so what are the given specifications load resistance are uh, the 2 kilo ohms and uh, rs is a 1 kilo ohm transconductance and uh, internal drain resistance now we need to calculate first the voltage gain of the circuit or of the common gate uh, amplifier and generally we know that again it is a defined as it is a ratio of output voltage to the input voltage and again from the common gate amplifier analysis we know that the voltage gain of the common gate amplifier is represented as gm into rd so gm into small rd plus 1 times of capital rd by small rd plus capital rd and we know that a one relation between the characteristic parameter that is amplification factor is equal to gm times of internal drain resistance so we know that the gm is a known parameter internal drain resistance is a known parameter and external drain load or drain resistance is a known parameter so hence I am going to substitute this GM value is 1.43 into 10 to the power of minus 3 and RD is 35 kilo ohms 35 into 10 power 3 plus 1 into again capital RD is 2 kilo ohms 2 into 10 power 3 divided by your capital RD is 2 kilo ohms means 2 into 10 power 3 plus small RD is 35 kilo ohms now this 10 power minus 3 10 power 3 is a get cancelled so means this is 35 into 1.43 means 1.43 into 35 plus 1 into 2 kilo ohms divided by 35 plus 2 means 37 kilo ohms so means 37 into 10 power 3 so then after this thing means 10 power 3 10 power 3 is again cancelled after this simplification the av factor is 2.75 means the voltage gain of the common gate amplifier is 2.75 means we observe this then we are going to calculate the input impedance so from the circuit again so input side means let us consider and based on that uh, it means i am redrawing the circuit so let us consider the common gate means so let us take this is the gate. Gate is directly shorted with the ground, and this is source RS, and we are having the input source VI, and drain is by RC with the RD, with the VD source, and the output is taken as a drain terminal that is V0. If you are redrawing the circuit, means let us take this is source and the drain. So let us consider this is the source, this is drain and the gate. So gate is common for input side and output side. So and the input is passing through the source resistance plus and minus. This is VI and the output is measured across the drain type and the load resistance R is also represented as external drain resistance. And here we are going to find out uh, the output voltage. So from this circuit, if you want to find out the internal impedance, that is the ZI is the parallel combination means internal it contains your transconductance parameter, hence that is RS is parallel with the 1 by ZM. So hence, and we know that here RS is so means that is. 1 rs is a 1 kilo ohms means 1 into 10 to the power of 3 is a parallel combination with 1 by gm so 1 by gm is 1.43 into 10 power minus 3. so means 1 into 10 power 3 into 
one by one point four three into ten power minus three divided by one into ten power three plus one by one point four three into ten power minus three. So then, after this simplification, then the input impedance is zero point four one kilo ohms. So that is the input impedance of the given uh, common gate amplifier based on the given specifications. So the parameter values. So hence, Zi value is zero point four one kilo ohms. Now we are going to calculate the output impedance. So hence, we need to calculate the output impedance Z now. So RT. So the output side means this is the drain terminal. Drain is externally biased with uh, a capital RT. Hence, now we are going to find out the output X. So for this case, this Z naught is approximately equal to your external drain resistance. That is capital R D representation. So hence, from this, the Z naught is or R D is equal to two kilo ohms. Now we'll see another problem. In a common gate amplifier, let R D is a ten kilo ohms. Rs is a 1 kilo ohm and the amplification factor is 50 and internal drain resistance is 35 kilo ohms. Evaluate the voltage gain, input impedance Zi and uh, output impedance Z0. So for the game, given same set Q for a common gate uh, amplifier, we need to calculate again for these given specifications, we need to determine voltage gain, input impedance and uh, output impedance. So let us take the given specifications. Rd is a 10 kilo ohms, Rs is a 1 kilo ohm, amplification factor is a 50, and internal drain resistance is 35 kilo ohms. First, I'm going to calculate the voltage gain, means generally, which is defined as it is a ratio of output voltage to the input voltage. From that, it is defined as that is Gm into Rt plus 1 times of capital R D by R D is smaller. And here, but here there is no transconductance, but we know that one relation mu is equal to Gm times of R D. So hence the FO equation rewritten as this Gm R D is replaced with, with your amplification factor. Hence mu plus one times of capital R D by capital R D plus smaller. So from that given specifications, so what is the capital R D value? Means mu means 50. So 50 plus 1 into capital R D is 10 into 10 power 3 divided by capital R D is uh, 10k plus small r d is 35k. So from this, if you simplify this one, so 50 plus 1, 51, 51 into 10 into 10 power 3 divided by 10 plus 35 means 45 into 10 power 3. That is 10 power 3, 10 power 3, the gate cancel. 5, 10 by 45. So from this, the AV is so 11.33. The voltage gain of the common gate uh, amplifier based on the given specifications, it is represented as 11.33. Now similarly, we need to calculate the input impedance. So then we know that for a common gate amplifier, the input impedance is the parallel combination with the input resistance, that is the source resistance and uh, the reciprocal of the transconductance. So from this, we know that, and again, there is no ZM value, but we know that the relation mu is equal to gm into small r. From this, the gm is equal to mu by r d. Hence, this z i is represented as r s the parallel combination with the mu by r d. Hence, that is equal to r s means one kilo ohm is a parallel combination with mu by r d, where mu is the fifty, small r d value is thirty five kilo ohms. So hence, 1 into 10 power 3 into 50 by 
35 into 10 power 3 divided by 1 into 10 power 3 plus 55 50 by 35 into 10 power 3. So after solving this one, the Z i value is after the simplification of this ratio, the input impedance is 411.76 ohms. Hence, from the given specifications, we observe that the input impedance is 411.76 ohms. So similarly, now we need to calculate the output impedance and from the common gate, we know that the output impedance is exactly equal to the external load resistance or external drain resistance. Hence, the output impedance is proportional to your given drain resistance. From the given specifications, they are given as external drain resistance is 10 kilo ohms. Hence, Z0 or RD that is equal to 10 kilo ohms. I will see another problem. In the CD amplifier, let RS is a 2 kilo ohms, RG is a 1 mega ohms, mu is a 50 and a small RD is a 50 kilo ohms. Now we evaluate the voltage gain, input impedance and the output impedance J0. So for the given specification, this is for a common am drain amplifier. For this, we can start as RS is a 2 kilo ohms, RG is a 1 mega ohms, and uh, amplification factor is a 50. So, hence, I note on this uh, given specifications based on the problem. Now, we need to calculate the voltage gain. And from the given diagram, we know that for this common drain amplifier, the voltage gain is represented as mu into RS pi, mu plus 1 times of RS plus RD. Here, the mu value is a 50. RS value is a 2 kilo ohms divided by 50 plus 1 times of 2 into 10 power 3 plus small r d is 50 kilo ohms. So after this simplification, the voltage gain of common drain amplifier is gives up 0 0.65. Similarly, we need to calculate the input impedance of uh, common drain amplifier. So again, we know that for the basic construction of the common drain amplifier, the input impedance is proportional to a given uh, gate resistance, hence ZI is equal to RG is equal to that is 1 mega ohms. And now we are going to calculate the output impedance, the Z0. So from the given circuit, Z0 is the parallel combination with the RS and the reciprocal of the transconductance. And here there is no GM value. So again, first we need to find out this uh, GM value. To identify this GM value, we know the one relation that is mu is equal to GM times the R. So from this, GM is equal to mu by R. Hence, Z0 is equal to mu by RT is a parallel combination with the uh, RS. So then you can substitute the given values 50 by small RD is a 50 kilo ohms is parallel combination with uh, RS that is 2 kilo ohms. Then to solve this uh, simplification means 50 by 50 into 10 power 3 into 2 into 10 power 3 divided by 50 by 50 into 10 power 3 plus 2 into 10 power 3. So after this simplification, the Z0 value is 666.66 ohms. So up to this point in this session, we observed that some of the problems on a common drain and a common gate amplifier based on the given specifications, we identified voltage gain, input impedance and the output impedance. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.